Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another food review. Today I'm at Wendy's, who apparently says your breakfast could have been free. Um, that's the only way I would probably eat Wendy's breakfast, is if it was for free. Because uh, if you've seen my reviews in the past of them, their coffee was terrible. And uh, they had a couple of good things, but nothing really spectacular. Um, I don't know how they're doing financially with the breakfast, but when you start saying that you are just giving away stuff for free, that can't be a great thing. But we're not going to do breakfast. We're going to do a new chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Now, a lot of places are doing new chicken sandwiches. This chicken sandwich is not a new type of chicken. They're still using the regular chicken, um, the regular chicken or their spicy chicken. It's just how they're dressing it up. The last time I had a Wendy's review, it was for the pretzel sandwich, and I thought it was bad, but that's still on the menu for some reason. But this is their new jalapeno popper chicken sandwich. You can get this in a classic, a spicy, or a grilled. Uh, if you are already saying that it has jalapeno poppers and jalapeno cream cheese on it, then why would you go for something that's just not spicy altogether? So of course I got the spicy version. Because the classic one had a jalapeno that fell off too. The only difference is the the pat the chicken piece itself is spicy or, or not. So here's your top bun. You got bacon, cheese, sauce, a uh, jalapeno cream cheese, and sliced jalapenos. On the chicken itself, you could see more bacon, more jalapenos. There's some shredded, uh, I believe they say, call that uh, jack cheese. And then underneath, there's nothing. So on this, you have bacon, jalapenos, cheese sauce, shredded cheese, and a cream cheese, jalapeno cream cheese sauce as well. Um, jalapeno poppers is one of my... Uh, one of my favorite things to, to get. Uh, growing up, I actually worked at a small town fast food place, non-chain, just a kind of greasy spoon place. Uh, it still exists. It's called a launching pad. You can look it up. Um, it's a lot different than it was when I worked there, different owners. I think it's changed ownerships like at least two times since I worked there. Uh, so don't expect it to be. Um, I, don't even, I don't think they have jalapeno poppers anymore. It's, it's very different. But anyway, here it is, a jalapeno popper chicken sandwich from Wendy's, spicy variety. Let's try it out. Okay, first bite impressions. I did get a, a nice bite of jalapeno in that one. The jalapenos on here are, they're not the fresh jalapenos, they're pickled, but they still have a little bit of uh, crunch to them when you chew on them. The, the patty is not like super impressive in size, but it is a full uh, breast style uh, breaded patty. For being the spicy variety, it's not really spicy. You do get a good jalapeno flavor to it. Like I said, the jalapenos on here are pickled, but they're still kind of crunchy. They have a good flavor, not overly spicy. The cream cheese is cream cheese itself is mild, but you get a nice mild flavor of cream cheese in this sandwich as well. The 
the bacon in here. Right here. This is a piece of bacon. I'm going to pull it out. It's very wobbly. There's no crisp to this bacon at all. It does have decent flavor. Hmm. The end pieces of this chicken have a nice crunch to them. I'm just going to tear this piece off here. I eat that by itself. Look that. That's really good. A lot of people like think in order to make a great chicken sandwich you have to be just like Popeyes and have a huge piece of chicken. You don't need a huge piece of chicken. You need a decent sized piece of chicken. But what you really need are these crispy end pieces. Some people are like, oh that's just all all batter. Um, you're not getting the chicken. Well, the interior is all chicken, but you want that like really crispy edge. It's almost like a, if you have a burger, uh, one style of burger is the like smash burger, where they take a, like a ball of meat and they smash it down so it's almost paper thin. But what happens is like those edges get crunchy, crispy. So even though it's not a, ju a big juicy burger, it's still very good and very enjoyable because you have like almost like this lattice work of flavor crispiness on the edge. It almost tastes like two different kind of sandwiches on the edge side and on the inner part. As you get closer to the middle, at least for the sandwich I bought, all the cream cheese is right there on the middle part. And then on the edge, you really don't see a lot of the, the cheese spreading out there. But that allowed for that really thin, crispy layer of chicken on the edge to stay crispy. And usually, what I say, what I think is, uh, Oh, they didn't spread all the condiments all around, so it's not all even. But I think it works in this case. Because if you had all that cheese sauce and all that cream cheese on the edge there, it would, like, uh, it would, like, soften up these crispy edges. And you wouldn't get that really nice crunch. So I actually enjoy that. I really think all these flavors <clears throat> really complement each other too. Jalapenos and cream cheese. Classic combination with the bacon. Gives it even more. I've actually had um, bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. And as good as jal jalapeno poppers are, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Wrap something in bacon and it will taste better. This is a really good one. These. This is an example of saying like, you don't have to come up with a brand new chicken sandwich, chicken wise, to really come to the top of chicken sandwiches ranked. Even though the bacon on the inside didn't stay crunchy, I'm glad that the outer edge, I'm saving this last piece here because I'm going to enjoy this crispy edge chicken. The bacon adds flavor, it's like the salty smoky flavor with that smooth 
cream cheese mildness. The only thing I really can't taste in here is the the shredded jack cheese and like this ch cheese sauce. Which really just kind of tastes a little bit salty. Which when you have bacon in there that's salty and smoky. It really doesn't taste any different. Um, so other, other than the, the cheese sauce and the shredded cheese not really adding much to it, the uh, the bacon, the jalapenos, the cream cheese, and that crispy spicy chicken patty are really good. And this bun is one of those premium shiny buns, but it is very soft. It's not dense at all. It's almost like uh, donut-ish in the, its softness. Wendy's although the last couple times didn't work out for you this one is a keeper I hope you hold on to this jalapeno popper chicken sandwich I suggest anyone who's interested in this kind of sandwich go out and try it before they get rid of it I'm going to give the spicy, crispy, jalapeno popper chicken sandwich from Wendy's a 9.2 out of 10. And with that, I'll say thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one bye bye